Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to compress your game video for epic high quality 1080 video for YouTube. People often ask me if I can give them any tips in After Effects that will improve the quality of their video. So I'm going to show you a few things you can do in After Effects to make your video look even better. In After Effects, make a new composition, HDTV 1080, 29.97. You can adjust the duration, 20 minutes, click OK. Drag your footage into the composition. Okay, we need to resize it. Right click on the footage and go to fit to comp. Okay, I went a little crazy here and I applied a bunch of effects. I couldn't help it. The most important effect to making a high quality 1080 video for YouTube is to apply a sharpen and unsharp mask. Try not to go too high on sharpen. Between 3 and 5 usually works well. Unsharp mask is really important between 50 and 100 and adjust the radius between 1 and 1.2. This is going to sharpen the edges around text and around characters and uh, the other effects that you see there are not important. Let's add this to the render queue. First select render settings, quality best, resolution full, and use the comps frame rate. Click OK. Next the output module. Let's select H264. Click on the format options button and let's adjust the bit rate to 60 megabits per second. You can also use 100 or 120, but for Fraps footage that's captured at 30 frames per second, 60 is a good setting. If you're playing an FPS game and you're capturing at 60 FPS, you might want to double this number to 120, for example. All right, here I enter 60, click OK. Check the audio output, 48 kilohertz, stereo, and here I select 320. It's okay to select high settings here. Uh, let's save this as comp1.mp4 and begin the render. When the render is done, open Handbrake and drag this comp into Handbrake. Let's take a look at the Handbrake settings now. I'm going to use the normal profile as a template. First I'll check this web optimized box and looking under the picture tab looks okay. Video filters tab looks okay. Under the video tab, let's change some things here to constant frame rate and constant quality 20. You can select average bit rate. Make sure you enter 12,000 to 15,000 for 1080 video and click two pass encoding. This works okay, but let's keep it simple and use constant quality 20. Under the audio tab, I select stereo, auto, and 256. If you have music or um, complicated audio, you can increase this. Under the advanced tab, this is very important. I change the reference frames to 3, click 8x8 transform. Adaptive B frames, I like to select optimal. Here select default and uh, one more. Select default here. Let's save this as a preset. Click the add button, give it a name. Here I name it YouTube. 1080 HD and click add. Now you got to select where you want to save this file and give it a name. And click save. Let's start the render. Let's assess how we did. Let's take a look at this short clip that we compressed. The original was about 132 megabytes. After compressing with Handbrake, we shrunk it down to about 34. But how's the quality? Let's line these up side by side and check the quality. On the left side is the original compressed with After Effects at high quality, 60 megabits per second. On the right side is the video compressed by Handbrake. At 100% zoom, I can't tell any difference at all. To the eye, they look the same. If I zoom into 200%, they still look exactly the same. But are they really exactly the same? No, of course not. The handbrake one is more compressed. It contains less information. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video and you like my channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Good luck and have fun.